My sump is finally nice and clean. It's actually been two days since I've cleaned this out, but it is absolutely gleaming in there. And today I'm gonna to show you exactly how I did it. Let's go. Right, first thing I'm gonna do is remove the NIOS reactor that's plugged in just in this cabinet. So, hopefully it's not wrapped around too many. Ah, no, it's not, it's right in there, look. Okay, so I've got a pot to put it in. That's going on the floor. I'm just gonna pull the whole reactor out. Hopefully it'll fit in this pot. Like a glove. Right, so now you might be able to see how much stuff is in there. That is all from the, um, the NIOS torque reactor. And it's also from when the clarity, when the emergency overflow overflows and some of the stuff comes into the sump. But, I mean, you can see, let me get it off here. It, it's an absolute bloody mess. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm removing the reactor. I'm going for lanthanum chloride, which is a phosphate remover. So it is a um, chemical based phosphate remover. I'm not gonna go into how it works. This is mainly a sump cleaning video. So I'm not gonna fully clean out this skimmer. You might ask why. This NIOS Talk skimmer, this, sorry, this NIOS 120 skimmer is a great skimmer when it's dirty. When, it, when I clean all of this out, when I clean the pump out, when I clean everything out, it either over skims or doesn't skim. So I'm just gonna wipe the neck, wipe this stuff off the neck here, give this a good clean, um, and leave the skimmer as it is. I'm mainly tackling all of this stuff here. So everything that's on the, um, the bottom and also everything that's on the sides. So everything you see here, I'm gonna pull out the, um, the probes, put, I'm gonna keep them wet, I'm gonna put them in, a, uh, in some water. I'm removing all of the biomedia. When you remove your biomedia, it is really important not to put it in RO water, not to leave it dry, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this pot, which the reactor sat in. I'm gonna fill this with tank water and I'm gonna put all of this biomedia, biomedia in this pot whilst I clean the sump. You don't wanna leave it dry because you'll kill off the bacteria in there and you don't wanna put it in RO water because again, you'll kill off the bacteria in there. One thing I'm not gonna clean is this um, Clarisy. To be honest, I can't be bothered to pull it out and fully clean it. Um, I've cleaned out this pipe uh, that runs through here. I cleaned out that pipe a few weeks ago. Uh, you'll know because I um, I told you guys on one of the updates because it had blocked. Uh, but yeah, I'm mainly tackling all this stuff in here. I like to keep my sump clean and um, I'm off the rails, guys. <laughs> this is a mess. So we'll get this clean today. Okay, so that's all of our media 
out of the sump into this pot here. So now you can see how much detritus and just general dirt was underneath that uh, that media there. So we are going to we're going to clean it out as well. We're going to clean. We've somehow clean the back. Uh, let me try and. You can see in the return chamber there's loads of stuff in there as well. So I'll do my best to get in there. But it is absolutely everywhere. So this is what I'm using to actually vacuum the sump. It is a Titan. It's just a wet dry vac. It's one of the cheapest models they do in my hardware store. Uh, and it does the job perfectly. It's 16 litres. Um, and the sump carries probably about, about 30 litres, I think, 35 litres, something like that. Um, so I've just, the way I'm doing it is I've got the hose. Sorry, this isn't the best angle, but um, it's the best I can do. So I've got the, the hose coming through and I've just got a standard um, pipe that I used to use. I don't know what I use. I think I use, I use this for water changes. Um, just coming out the edge, at the end there. So it may look a bit, uh, a bit ropey, but it actually works. So this end, goes in the sump, I turn the wet dry vac on and then I can either pull 50% air and 50% water or if I close this and put my thumb over it I should say, I can pull just water out the sump and use full suction from the, uh, from the wet dry vac. Um, it's because it's only a 16 litre capacity that I've done it this way. I was tempted to use the f just put the nozzle in there but to be honest it would fill up in no time and it wouldn't give me time to, uh, to get into the little nooks and crannies. So I thought this way, if I want full vacuum, I can just put my thumb over there. And if I don't want thumb va full vacuum, I can just uh, sort of dot it around the sump. Um, but yeah, I'll do a little time lapse of me cleaning the sump and we'll see how we get on. about it. I've got to clean the exterior of the glass but from what it was to what it is now is night and day. So there you go. That is how I clean my sump and I'm not going to leave it too long next time because that was the mission. So if you're enjoying the content please do like, please do subscribe 
and um, have a cracking week, guys.